James Kaufman, World News Report today, April 3rd, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, the last three hours, our estimated planetary index, the one used by NOAA and NASA, indicates that we are in a geomagnetic storm. That's correct, a geomagnetic storm, and I believe I know the cause. We're going to start out on top with our boulder index. Our boulder index indicates that today they saw nine hours of a geomagnetic disturbance. Moving down to our Fredericksburg index, nine hours of a geomagnetic disturbance. And earlier in the day, three hours of a geomagnetic storm. Moving to our estimated planetary our go-to KP index. What is the KP index? It gives you a good idea of both solar winds and plasma hitting Earth at any given time in three-hour increments. This is the one that NOAA NASA just upgraded, and it shows 12 hours of a geomagnetic disturbance early in the day. It shows that we slipped into a geomagnetic storm over the last three hours. Going to our college our college KP index starts the day off with the geomagnetic disturbance. And then, ladies and gentlemen, it shows 15 hours of both a G1 and G2 geomagnetic storm. Now, according to our estimated planetary KP index, we're only in a G1 geomagnetic storm. And as you see, we're confirming that G1 KP5, it's really a KP 4.67, the very weakest geomagnetic storm possible. You can see the disturbances here and here. But again, it points to just the last three hours of a G1 KP 4.67 geomagnetic storm. We're going to see what that's all about real soon. Using our deductive reasoning, we know it actually came from this Solar flare that had a coronal mass ejection that was ejected. It was a 5.61, I believe, but this says 5.5, somewhere around 5.5, 5.6 M class solar flare. And the timing is just about perfect on that. That was directly Earth facing. Headed over to our Discover Real Time Solar Wind Satellite. We've had some instances that were above space weather conditions, which would be 10 centimeters cubed or stronger. So we've seen the plasma come in and go as high, really, guys, as 32.39. And then it just dropped off to almost nothing. Now, I don't know if we're going to get another bar that indicates a geomagnetic storm, but based on this, and knowing that this receives data about 90 minutes before we do, I believe the next bar to drop is going to be maybe a G2 geomagnetic storm on our estimated planetary index. I don't know what would have caused this to drop off. I do see that our shields come up here. As you can see in blue and our solar winds are not in play here this is definitely a chronal mass ejection solar winds started the day at 450 and currently they're at 450 so they have not done anything all day it's all about the plasma which means it's all about that chronal mass ejection that came at us from that inflare that we just looked at why did our shields go up and the plasma drop off all of a sudden? That is above anyone's pay grade there, folks. I did look for maybe some pressure uh, on the backside of our planet and found nothing when I did look or I would be showing you guys. Checking our work real quickly on ACE, real-time space weather, our older space weather satellite. We see that our shields go up here. Probably what pushes the plasma down here. We don't see the plasma going up to 33 here on our ACE real-time space weather satellite. Uh, we do see that winds start at 450 and ended at 450. 
Temperatures were generally normal all day, although they've started to elevate towards the end of the day. I just don't see the plasma here like we did on Discover. So it's hard to call any geomagnetic storm using our ACE real-time space weather satellite, period. With that said, I'm pretty sure the next shooter drop on the estimated planetary KP index i.e. space weather plasma hitting Earth, well, it's going to be another geomagnetic storm if it be a G1 or G2 geomagnetic storm. God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything is possible in bizarro world. God bless.